Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about 14 common lies that a narcissist will say that are things that everyone is capable of saying and some people actually mean these things. It's all in the intent behind the behaviour as you can always trust a narcissist to lie to you. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about the narcissist personality disorder to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you overcome narcissistic abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. Narcissists, what they say and what they mean are usually two very different things. Some examples of the top gaslighting sentences they say to manipulate you, to cause cognitive dissonance within your mind when they continually tell you one thing yet it rarely matches your reality. When they will often isolate you so you only have them to go to for reality checks. Even if they haven't isolated you, not wanting to open up to others for fear of judgment or not being understood, added words from the narcissist of who would believe you and then with the added obvious or subtle threats they throw in. It's a terrifying, confusing place to live, a difficult place to escape from. With reactive abuse, this can make you fear speaking out and it can end up making you feel like you're the narcissist. If you have empathy for other people, if you don't go around exploiting other people, it's highly unlikely that you are the narcissist. Remember Dr. Craig Malkin three E's. If someone lacks in genuine empathy towards you, if they act entitled and if they exploit others, no matter what they tell you, they only seek to harm you. If they are physically abusive or not, if they try to control your life, you need to remove yourself from their lives safely. People on the narcissist personality disorder spectrum are very egotistical, self-centered people and expect others to give them everything that they want without giving or giving little back in return. They only give so they can take. They are extremely tough to spot in society and they are the masters of manipulation. They are the masters of words and lies. With cognitive distortions, the lies they tell, often they believe themselves. They use lies and manipulation so well that even when their actions don't match their words, we are the ones left doubting ourselves and not them. Many a narcissist could possibly pass a lie detector test as they rewrite history in their own minds to escape accountability with little to no cognitive reflection skills. Their lies over time become their truths, while the those around them who think empathetically and have emotional empathy end up extremely disorientated and drained, trying to look for the good in those who continue to show them their worst, primarily due to the narcissist gaslighting words. Narcissist lies are incredibly effective. Most healthy people tend to try not to lie in the first place. When they do, the guilt they would feel will often make them admit to it. Or if they don't and they get caught, they will apologise for it, learn from it and not do it again. So when a narcissist lies and continues to do so, often with the lies that you wouldn't even think was a lie, like I love you, as they love they love you when they're getting their needs met by you. They don't love you in the same way that you love them. The more they repeat this, the more you believe this, even when their actions don't match their words, as often most narcissists, be it parent, boss, friend, partner, whoever they are in your life will idolise you at some point or they will offer those intermittent plays of idolization. So when they say, I love you or I love your worth ethics, we believe them. Then they turn so cruel and cold and calculated towards us and we start to wake up from their lies and our instincts are screaming out at us. They come back with the play nice and the more our mind believes those continued lies rather than the actions and the truth of the narcissist. Usually because the narcissist has gaslighted us and scapegoated us into making out they treated us badly due to something we didn't even do to them. 
14 common phrases a narcissist tell people and what they truly mean. These can be from any narcissist within your life, not just a partner. When they say, I'd never hurt you, they mean they're not going to hurt you while you're doing as they please, while they are in the driver's seat and in control of you. At the same time, while you take care of them, while you shower them with attention, when they say they'd never hurt you, they mean while you meet their expectations all will be well as soon as you don't most will go all out to destroy you because they take it as criticism that you're not serving them until you do serve them again they also mean they don't want you to wake up and realize what they're doing to you Remember, only you define you and as hard as it can be to see when someone is hurting you so much, you are in control of your emotions. So finding the methods that work for you, those who continue to hurt you are not for you. Your mind controls your emotions, you control your mind. Narcissists will gaslight to take control of your emotions and your thoughts. You have the power to take control back. When a narcissist says your work is the best, they mean if it's a boss, while you're doing all the work for them, you're good. While they can play you off against your work colleagues all is well. They love how you come into work early just to please them. How you go home late and miss out on your children's bedtime just to please them. They love how they only have to say how good your work is and you go all out to do more for them. When they say your work is the best... They mean they can play you off against other colleagues while you run around extra errands for them and go above and beyond in your job without extra pay. They love how they are in charge of your life. If it's a parent, they love how you're running around trying to please them, doing everything they want to get their approval. If it's a partner, they love how you take care of everything, take care of the home, the bills, the children, so that they don't have to do much. Remember, when it's a job, you sign a contract, you do so much to get paid so much, that give and take. When they expect more than they're willing to pay, it's time to find a new job. Your boundaries, if something doesn't feel right for you, if by saying yes to someone else you are saying no to yourself, it needs to be a no. When they say, you're lazy. A narcissist means that you're not doing enough for them and even if you are doing all you can, they enjoy flipping the script to make you feel guilty and work harder to please them. They mean you should be doing more to please them. Yet a narcissist will set unreasonable demands of you. So no matter how much you do, it will never be enough for them. It will never live up to their unreasonable expectations. Remember, you define yourself. You know if you listen to yourself enough and not those around you, when you've done enough, you need to rest. Listen to your own body and mind and do what's in your best interest. With good intentions, there's no wrong way or right way to live your life. You have to be at your best to give your best. When a narcissist says, I love you, they mean they are just using the word to control you. They don't really love you, not in the way that you do them. They love that you make your life about them. They love how you solve their issues, relieve their pain, fix their problems. They love how you take time for them and not yourself, give them your attention, how you make their happiness your responsibility. They love how you need them to love you. They love how they can make you feel unworthy and insignificant to try harder to please them. When a narcissist says, I love you, they mean they love how you live by and respect their rules and they love what you do to please them or what you provide for them. They do not love you for you, for who you are as a person. It's all about what you do for them. If you ever ask a narcissist what they love about you, they will reel off a load of things that you do for them and very little to nothing about who you are as a person. Remember those who love you would not continue to hurt you and let you down. When you love someone, you don't want to cause them or see them in any pain. Only allow those to treat you in the same way you would treat others. Love yourself for who you are. Own your insecurities. We all have them. There's nothing to be ashamed of. When we acknowledge ourselves for who we are, others can no longer use our insecurities against us. And when it comes to dealing with a narcissist, when they can no longer use our insecurities against us, it's a game changer. When they say it's not all about you, when a narcissist says this, it means it's all about them. 
as they believe they're entitled to have everything their own way. They believe they should be in full control. They believe they are special and deserving of all the attention. They cannot handle you being the centre of attention. They get jealous of others' success and wish to invalidate and devalue other people's achievements to make themselves feel better. If you ever mention your needs that they don't care for, they'll make you feel guilty and ashamed of having these normal needs. They mean that they're the only important person in the room and you've got to learn that your needs and who you are as a person does not matter to them. To a narcissist, it's all about themselves. Remember, it is all about you. It's about others too. If you're happy about something, you have every right to be happy about something. If you're not happy about something, you have every right to change it. It's your life. You don't need to hurt people by walking away from those who hurt you. You've most likely tried all you can to help them and they have left you a former shell of who you are. Now is the time to take care of yourself before you take care of others. This is not to hurt others. This is to be at your best for those who deserve you. Genuine people do exist. Those who continue to treat you with disrespect don't deserve your time and attention. So respect them for who they are and let them go and live their life while you go and live yours. They say you have trust issues. When it comes to a narcissist, they will have usually provoked these trust issues within you in the first place because the narcissist themselves has trust issues. They were jealous of something you've done that wasn't meant in any way. You might have just spoken to a friend and not given them enough attention. You might have just spoken to your parents on the phone and not given them the attention they believe they're entitled to. So they seek to get you back. A narcissist would never genuinely admit it to you, but they are a very untrustworthy person and you're going to have trust issues around untrustworthy people. And even though they have possibly shown you many times by betraying you in various forms, lying, cheating, saying they'll do one thing and then doing another, a narcissist loves the power and control they have over others with their words. They love making people doubt themselves and question their own sanity. When you no longer know what is right or wrong unless they tell you. When you need to trust your instincts and know a narcissist will deny anything and everything that works against them, even with facts and evidence against them. Remember, your instincts are telling you the truth. You will have trust issues around those with lying issues. They say that never happened. They mean they don't want you knowing the truth and they don't want you thinking wrongly of them. They don't want you to see what's truly happening. They want you to live by their rules. Remember your truths, no matter what others say. If you know it happened, then it happened. If you're still around a narcissist, keep a written diary until your mind sees clearly that their actions don't match their words. When they say you are so jealous and insecure, a narcissist means they enjoy seeing you compete for their attention. When they flirt with others, which makes them powerful, makes them feel powerful and wanted. They make you feel unworthy and you often then want the narcissist more. You know what you suspect is real when it comes to a narcissist, but as you can't see what they're actually doing, it's difficult to listen to those instincts. Narcissists will do their best into manipulating you into thinking what they're doing that's morally wrong is not real. That you cannot do anything right and the, they will have you doubting yourself. So you become trauma bonded and don't leave. Remember, you don't deserve someone who lets you down, who is never indeed there for you, and who continues to hurt you. You deserve someone who you trust to be honest, open, caring, and kind like yourself. They say we are just friends. They mean whenever they get bored with you, they'll go straight on the phone calling that person. In case you do manage to leave the narcissist, they can simply replace you with this person and make you feel worse. This person might already be acting as a valuable side piece for the narcissist. They'll also make sure this new person knows how controlling and toxic you apparently are. So if you ever talk to the person about the narcissist behaviour, it will just confirm how crazy you are. 
you're not actually the crazy one, but a narcissist loves smearing your name. They rewrite history to avoid accountability and they want to make you look like you're the one in the wrong. They love the power they have over you to humiliate you and to provoke you. When you react, it feels good to a narcissist to have the attention and they can then show people how crazy you are. Remember, yes, two people can just be friends, but if it's making you feel uncomfortable, you're not insecure or sensitive or all the other toxic gaslighting phrases a narcissist uses. You're human with feelings and something doesn't add up and your instincts are usually correct. When they say you don't have anyone other than me or no one will love you, a narcissist usually means this because they've already removed anyone important to you in your life. They've already isolated you from friends, family and support. They are now the only one who has power and control over your life. Of course, people will love you, but a narcissist does not want you to wake up and realise this. They want control over you and they want you doing as they please to earn their love. Remember, you are worthy and you are lovable, but Love and happiness start with from within. You need to detach yourself from negative, toxic people who bring you down, who bring out the worst in you, so you can discover what you enjoy in life, what you love about you. The right people will be there for you and love you for who you are. They say you're overthinking or overreacting. A narcissist means that you have perfectly normal thoughts of their behaviour and normal reactions to their countless lies. You are going to get defensive around offensive people. But a narcissist doesn't want you to wake up and smell the coffee. They never want to let you catch on. Not now, not ever. They want to make you doubt yourself in every way and they'll make you feel like you're the bad person. They'll make you feel guilty. They will guilt trip you to work harder to please them. They want you to trust their words and not your own thoughts and feelings. A narcissist will reap the benefits while you work so hard to make it up to them and please them for the things they're doing to you. Remember, you were given a mind to think for yourself and how you want to believe. If something bothers you, internally process it and take action to change it so it no longer bothers you. Even if that means walking away from those who continue to let you down and walk away from those when they walk away from you when you need them the most. They say you're too sensitive. You're going to feel sensitive around insensitive people. A narcissist means they love making you feel worse, which makes them feel better. They love the power you give to them and they enjoy taking advantage of your kindness and hearing you explain your intentions to them while they take you off topic twist your words and watch you lose yourself narcissists get a weird kick out of how they make you feel horrible when you mention something they did to hurt you and you'll see that smirk on their face yet they will have turned it all around onto being your fault they often show a smirk on their face as they watch the pain and sadness and disappointment on your face Remember, you are you and no one defines you, sensitive or not, that's who you are. Being sensitive means you have feelings for yourself and others and genuine people would respect those feelings as you respect others. They say, I'm sorry you feel that way. A narcissist means they're not sorry you feel that way. They don't have the emotional empathy to care for how you feel. They are just saying this so they can continue with their hurtful behaviour towards you. They are only ever sorry they got caught. They feel no need to apologise. But if they need to, they will say, I'm sorry you, I'm sorry if, I'm sorry but, to further exploit you. A false apology, meaning they are not sorry for what they did. They are feeling sorry for themselves that they are being made to apologise for things they believe they're entitled to do. They will always turn it on to you. They do not care for your emotions or how you feel. They only care about what they can get from you. Remember, if someone continues to hurt you and they don't change their hurtful behaviour towards you, they don't care for you. This is just further manipulation. They say you'll never find someone like me. A narcissist means they know it would be the best thing to ever happen to you if you never found someone like them. There are so many people that would treat you so much better than a narcissist ever will. But they want to make sure that that never happens for you. They want you so hooked on them that you'll only be free once they have done with you. 
by this point, they'll have broken you, that you will think no one will want you. They get you to a point where you don't trust anyone. And when you start to recover, prepare for a narcissist hoover. They will swoop back in as a changed person, but they'll never change. When a narcissist sees you doing well is when they suddenly want you back. Remember, genuine people do exist. And the sooner you remove those from your life that put out your light, that put you down, that squash you and take away all your hopes, dreams, happiness, money, health, wealth and all the other things they steal from you as soon as you remove negativity it will make way for positivity you'll in a love your dreams your happiness and genuine kind people hopefully this will explain why after coming out of a relationship with these people you doubt everything and everyone you can feel judged silly stupid you can feel scared to tell people in case you sound crazy you are not crazy now is the time to rebuild yourself and cut any negativity out of your life you are not silly crazy stupid just because one person manipulated you they manipulate it's what they do they don't want you to see what they're doing to you you just love hard you are kind you are genuine you trust people you can change things for yourself you can move forward you may have anxiety you can heal your anxiety you may have cptsd you can overcome this this is all normal after this kind of relationship you are not alone in how you feel people out there do understand and have been through similar trust yourself remember who you once were you've allowed your thinking and mindset to be retrained now you can work on retraining your mindset for you changing those negatives into positives trust learning to trust yourself again knowing everyone's allowed an opinion and if you don't agree move on no harm done you can work on yourself some can recover with self-taught research others with support groups therapy cd EMDR treatment is finding the right coping strategies for you and then using them to work for you. The best relationship you can have is the one with yourself. So work on yourself today. Tell yourself you can and you will do this and you will love you for you. When you find the coping mechanisms to survive the relationship, you will find them to survive recovery. Life isn't always easy. When we go easy on people that make us unhappy, life becomes hard. When we work on ourselves, life becomes easier. If anyone has any thoughts on this video or any sayings that you heard, please add those into the comments. I shall link into the description the video on cognitive dissonance, gaslighting, coercive control and mind games to give you more information on those if you are looking for further support i have partnered with better help and their sponsored link will also be in the description thank you very much for listening go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day bye